Since 2005, there have been almost 12,000 recorded cybersecurity breaches. McAfee estimates that cybercrime costs more than 1% of the entire world's GDP. To put that into number, that's over $1 trillion. The amount of cybersecurity attacks has only increased throughout the same period. Just over the past year, we've seen hacker groups target and successfully infiltrate some of the most secure internet systems in the world. Of course, I'm referring to the massive attack on the Texas-based software government contractor SolarWinds. There was also the successful ransomware attacks that occurred on the largest oil system in the United States, the Colonial Pipeline, that led to gas shortages all across the East Coast. Both massive attacks occurred due to poor password management, which further solidifies the notion that employees are the biggest risk to an organization. As a result of the increase in cyber attack attempts and successes, the government of the United States had no choice but to react. Enter CMMC Stage Left. The Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC, is the result of a push by the Department of Defense, or DOD, to protect the confidential information that its contractors deal with on a daily basis. The first version of CMMC came out in January 2020, and it affects all DOD contractors and their entire supply chain. Although it isn't a requirement until 2026, it's a huge overhaul of the processes for conducting business with the DOD. Any contractor who doesn't take this new regulation seriously and isn't proactive in implementing its requirements years in advance risks losing its ability to bid on all of the DOD's future RFPs. Sure, if you're a DOD contractor, you still have more than a presidential terms amount of time to implement the model's required safeguards and achieve the certification. You could argue that there's a chance that the aggressive push towards implementing CMMC will lose steam eventually. Maybe the DOD will lessen its strict requirements when it realizes how much of a supply chain headache CMMC may cause. However, based on the DOD's 2022 budget, CMMC isn't going to disappear. In its budget, the DOD included a $615 million line item for embedding zero-trust architectures. That line item directly relates to the purpose and requirements of CMMC. In other words, it's time to start thinking about how to achieve CMMC's requirements ahead of time. That means determining what level of contractor you are, understanding the required controls, and implementing a way to attest that you're following each requirement. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the CMMC levels of certification. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Before looking at the controls and blindly trying to follow them, you need to understand how CMMC works. As it stands today, DoD contractors are already obligated to implement cybersecurity requirements. CMMC places additional emphasis on those requirements by enforcing third-party assessors to evaluate every contractor's compliance with laid-out mandatory practices and procedures. In other words, a third-party assessor must come in and attest that DoD contractors enforce what they're required to actually do. The statements I just made don't do a good job of capturing the scale of CMMC and who it affects. So let me put it into perspective for you. During the DOD's 2016 fiscal year, the organization contracted around 210,000 full-time equivalent or FTE contractors. FTE is a measurement the DOD commonly uses that calculates the estimated number of man hours contracted. CMMC affects the majority of those DOD contractors plus those hired on a part-time basis as long as they deal with controlled unclassified information or CUI. It's a massive upcoming mandatory regulation that many organizations need to place time and energy into before it's too late and they'll no longer have a qualification to bid on contracts with the DOD. Of course, not every contractor provides the same level of service to the DOD. Some of the largest contractors provide F-13 fighter jets, while others supply only the nuts and bolts to those planes. Luckily, CMMC realizes the differences in both of those organizations via different defined certification levels. There are five levels in total for CMMC, each one building on top of one another, requiring stricter requirements as they increase. Level one is practices basic cybersecurity hygiene. Level two practices basic cybersecurity hygiene with processes that are documented. Level three practices good cyber hygiene with processes managed. Level four practices reviewed and processes proactive. Level five practices advanced slash proactive and processes optimizing. Level five is the highest level of CMMC that any contractor can achieve, meaning that only a select few will actually need to achieve it. On the flip side, that also means that level one is the most basic level and the bulk of DoD contractors will need it. Although it's still being created, CMMC is on its way. 2026 sounds like it's pretty far away, but in reality, there are so many controls, processes, and assessments involved 
that you need to start your processes now. If you don't take this regulation seriously as a DOD contractor at any of the levels I just went through, you won't be able to do business with the DOD, period. If you'd like to learn more about CMMC, reach out to we Tactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.